The activity you just completed aimed to highlight how motivation can influence the attributions that we make. When explaining why you might have done well in a test, you will tend to select one of the first two answers in the examples, either your hard work or academic ability, as these are internal explanations for doing well. If the outcome is not a good one, however, then you may be more likely to select one of the second two answers, the test difficulty or the teacher's teaching ability, as these are external attributions for the bad outcome. These attributions minimise the extent that the outcome reflects badly on you. This is known as the self-serving bias, which is the tendency to attribute successes to stable internal factors and failures to temporary external factors. So we saw that the actor-observer bias reverses for positive outcomes. We attribute positive outcomes to more internal causes when thinking about our own behaviour compared to the behaviour of other people. This is effectively the same as the self-serving bias. The self-serving bias seems to serve two purposes. The first is a self-presentation effect. We engage in self-serving attributions to make us look better to other people. We are responsible for good outcomes and not responsible for bad outcomes. There's also some evidence that the self-serving biases are present when people make their attributions in private, and so they can't be trying to impress anyone else. This suggests that the self-serving bias also helps us to enhance our self-esteem and make us feel better about ourselves.